Hey guys, I'm bringing you guys another Fortnite video today on the Fortnite game mode called 50v50. If you guys don't know what that game mode it is, it is, it is a limited time game mode that Epic Games has brought to Fortnite, I think about three different times now. It had just been implemented a couple days ago into Fortnite once more for the third time. And it is where 50, 50 people go up against another 50 people in Fortnite and you drop in through two different buses. And I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some pointers on how to win 50v50 almost every game. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a rundown on the 50v50 game mode. So it's pretty simple. Each team starts in a separate bus that comes in from an opposite direction and there's going to be a white dotted line down the middle of your map which is a, where a small circle is going to spawn which is going to be the starting circle where you have to get to to be safe. And once every teammate drops teammate or enemy drops from either bus you're going to be given 10 minutes to be able to get to that circle. So, I mean, that's pretty much the rundown of the 50 v 50 game mode. It's pretty simple from there. Now, we need to get into the tips on how to win 50 v 50 most of the time. So, one of my most big, most big, biggest pet peeve in Fortnite is probably when I'm playing the 50 v 50 game mode, not everyone lands near the circle, so I'm going to go ahead and throw up a little screenshot here on to tell you guys, or to show you guys, what exactly I'm talking about. So, where the circle spawns on that white dotted line, most of these retards just go off to who knows where on the map, on your side of the map. And it takes them days to run to the circle. That, my friends, is a bad strategy. What you want to do is start off by getting close to the circle. Start off landing really close to the circle. I mean, you might have to compete for a little bit more loot, but in the end, you're going to have the high ground. You're going to have the circle right off the bat so you can be defending your base practically. You can start building up against those enemy teams that or those enemy players that are going to start running into the circle later during the map, and the storm's going to be closing in on them. So therefore, you would have the advantage, which is perfect, because then their backs are going to be to the storm, or they might have trouble getting to the circle because of the storm the storm does extreme damage in 50 v 50 since you get so much time to get to the circle so that's number one tip right there is to always try and land close to the circle right off the bat now for tip two is going to be weapons now weapons are a big part of 50 v 50 so let's say that you do end up getting the high ground you your teammates do end up helping you start off in the circle there and you just are sitting there waiting waiting for those teammates or the enemies to go into the circle, run in the circle, run right into your traps, run right into whatever you've set up. Now, some of the best weapons i found for playing 50v50 when you're in that high ground position would probably be the hunting rifle, sniper rifle, or just a regular longer range AR. Due to the fact that you're not going to want to be rushing into the other teammate's side, you're literally just sitting there waiting for them to run into you. You don't want to go ahead and charge them as there's going to be so many of them. You have the numbers advantage at this point. So the hunting rifle, very easy for seeing around. There's not the scope to block you out. Um, it's much faster reloaded, and I really enjoy the hunting rifle while playing 50v50. Sniper rifle, I mean, I obviously am a big fan of the sniper rifle, but for the hunting ri but it is not as good as the hunting rifle in 50v50, let me tell you. And just a regular AR for those medium range combats. And then you obviously need the shotgun for the really close range combats, but you should be able to do at least a good amount of damage, if not knock most of them from a far distance while they're running into the circle, because there, there are easy targets, easy easy targets running into the running into the circle, unless they are you know the John Wick pro builders. So that's tip number two. And the final tip is going to be to just build, 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 build. I can't tell you enough. This game is all about building, especially in 50v50. You're going to have so many enemies running up on you into that hill, into the circle, that I just, you need to build. Don't stand out in the open and try and kill someone with a hunting rifle, shotgun, or AR. Don't do it. Just build, 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 build. Get the advantage on them. Make them feel like they're losers, that they fucked up. Make them feel ashamed of themselves. Make them feel that they need to get better at building. Be the best at building. That is the number one key. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And stay tuned for some more Fortnite!